Hello, 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 how do? I hope you are all very, very well. It's Monday, it's time for day two of XCOM Enemy Within. Or Enemy Unknown, but Enemy Within the DLC patch. Same game, same game. Anyway, how are you? I hope you are. I hope you checked out the Friday's live stream at the time, because I had to delete that VOD, <laughs> because it was a mess. Um, didn't realise, because of different things popping up on the screen, that I left my audio muted for the first chunk. Um, and then when I was re-explaining everything, I muted the whole games, and forgot to unmute the damn game, so you got no audio for the... Uh, no game audio for the second half, so I thought, you know what, just bend that right it off. It was a good stream, I enjoyed it, but it's a shame I always forget about the muting stuff, so that's why I tend not to do it. But anyway, enough of that, enough of that, it's time for XCOM. It's a new week, it's Monday, and I hope you're having fun. Because we're going to have fun, and I almost did something bad there as well, because we need to get to the game. And I've not set up the damn game. So let me go there. I knew there was something I meant to do. So you can't get a sack in here. Uh, where are we? We're at game capture. I want to hide that one then. And I want to make that one visible. And we want to see XCOM. There it is. And let me just rescale that so it all looks nice. But yes, starting a little bit early tonight. Um, because I'm hopefully going to be finished. And I didn't sort out the coffee link stuff anyway. There we go. Do that. And there we go. We're all good. We're all good. Let me load the game. I don't realize there's multiplayer. Uh, Iron Man, of course, yes. Uh, let's load it then. Next. Um, so, yeah. We need to build some stuff as well in here, don't we? Commander to engineering. Commander to engineering. Let's go there first, shall we? Um, and I'll talk more Commander, about. no doubt you are aware of Dr. Valen's request to capture one of the aliens. Mental. A sound plan, but she fails to realize that we lack a facility to safely contain a live specimen. With your approval, my team and I will begin construction of a suitable facility. Make it, sir. Uh, yes, we need to build facilities. Oh, yeah, there's this lot. Oops. Okay, so select build facility. I'm gonna go here and set alien containment and begin. See, they didn't do this. This must be the DLC, or maybe this is... I remember my playthrough wasn't quite as simple. Thank you, Commander. Well. I'll let you know when the facility is ready. Cheers. Dr. Valen has asked to see you, Commander. No doubt she wishes to explain her plan personally. Commander She's already to the told me what it is. Commander to the research labs. And you know what? I'm getting really anxious that you can't hear that. But I think you can hear that, and I was tabbed out. I might just shimmy this. Oh, oops, whoops, 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 whoops. I've gone all the way up top. The reason why, oh, you can't see anyway if I do that. Uh, let's just go to research. There we go. Commander, I'm sure you've been briefed on my request. With your authorization, we can begin research on the Ark Thrower immediately. Do it. That's the priority, is it? That's the stun. Let's begin that Commander project. Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. Yes. Uh, I don't think I can do anything else for the moment, so may as well get to mission control. Commander. We're picking up widespread radio chatter indicating UFO sightings within our current satellite coverage area. We should begin scanning for contacts as soon as possible. Okay. So, whilst I scan, 
I'll update you on what's going on. Because obviously I'm on a little bit early, and that's because satellite coverage now available. I got up a little bit earlier. China. Looks like that satellite we earlier. launched paid off. We're picking up an unidentified fast mover. If we scramble an interceptor now, we may be able to take it down. Super. Uh, scramble interceptors. Awesome. Jets are away. The Ravens. Oh, here we go. We get to see. We have eyes on the bandit. Eyes on the bandit. There we go. Shot it down. Interceptor shot down the target UFO. Surveillance indicates alien crew moving at the crash site. Interceptor sustained a light damage in the encounter. Yep, yeah, which is there. Okay, cool. Let's leave the report. Excellent. It looks like we're going to have to... Central, this is Voodoo 37. We have a confirmed kill on Bogey 001. I repeat, the UFO is down. I'll copy, over. Solid copy, Voodoo 37. Nice work. Central out. All right, people. Retask Recon Satellite Bravo and get me a visual on that crash site. She's coming into range now, sir. On screen. Magnify. Still in one piece. Commander, I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site immediately. Yeah, we were three steps ahead of you on that one. Okay, uh, let's send the Sky Ranger. Um, yes, I'm on earlier. Um, my wife's gone to bed. I'm on early um, because I'm hopefully going to finish earlier. I know it's prime for a nice long stream but quite frankly I woke up really early this morning and I am dog tired so we're going to stick to the normal hour I'm on a quarter maybe streaming uh, so you know what we best get going then with the weather field three and obviously with Drillia's here okay so we've got Rashid they've all got scopes apart from the girl who's got uh, a grenade Go for that the sniper. I think everyone's okay there, Pat. Yeah, we're okay, aren't we? There's nothing else really that can change. Do I need to edit you to have anything regarding your rockets? So they play a bit more sure anyway. Yeah, no, that's fine. You're good to go then. Let's launch the mission. Going over to the UFO. Scavenger has arrived at the mission site. Let's begin that assault. Our target site is near the German border. Excellent. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. We won't need to worry about civilians. Operation Cryptic Mother. XCOM interceptors have splashed a UFO. Intel indicates some surviving crew. Meld energy signature readings are positive. Exercise caution when engaging the enemy. The craft may contain usable salvage. Objectives are locate the crashed UFO. Sweep the area for surviving crew and neutralize them. Locate and secure meld canisters and avoid additional damage to the craft if possible. Some components may be recoverable. And if you increase the number of soldiers you bring on combat missions by purchasing tactical upgrades, in the officer training school, we might have to do that. Uh, that's ready to engage. Launch mission. We can't stun them yet because we don't have the stun guns that have been worked on. And they're building the hoarding cells for men away. So we're still early on. Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike One is authorized to assault the alien craft. Okay, then it's up to me now. So where are we? Let's get some gathering. Let's get me. Gathering. Looks like the crash site is dead ahead. We should expect heavy resistance here. Okay. There's no telling how many hostiles were on board. 
Approach the craft with caution and attempt a breach if possible. Bearing sorted out, I need something that's full cover. You want full cover. And that's actually quite a nice spot, just as long as they don't get around that side. Anything else? You're, oh, that's only half cover there. Let's take full cover because I know. Okay, bet. Wherever you're going, have you got anything? You've got another tree up here. Never them. Visual on the goods. Okay. Rashid, Deirdre, go left or straight. I kind of want to go left just because I've got a feeling, a bad feeling, but a feeling nonetheless that they're going to try and screw us over. That wow, this five. Oh no, I was going to say there's five mold, but there's two mold. But I've got five turn before the first one goes. So I do need to hurry it up a little bit. Do I want to go up there? That's kind of tempting. You are the sniper after all. Got it, move do it. it. Jose, mm, you're gonna have to break cover or go somewhere. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Yeah, do it there then. Do it there. Look sharp, enemies rolling up. Oh, there we go. At least we got we got eyes on them anyway. At least. But he is in a bad state right now. Okay, so give away. Can you actually? I don't think you can, can you? Attempted to be a forward, actually. Yeah. Let's move you forward to there. That's affirmative. We do have one inside now. Could do smoke screen just to protect him a little. Now I'm gonna go for it. What's that? 45% chance. Give it a go. Give it a go. We've got one. Not ideal. But it is what it is, isn't it? You can't see bag of all from being that side of the map. So let's put you Roger here. Dodger. You won't be able to take a shot because you've dashed. without breaking cover unless I go further back Ugh. okay attempt to go here just okay. so that I can actually just provide a second target so that they're not all focused on one person Him though. I got lucky there. I got very, very lucky there. Now that's full cover. I would quite like to choose you first. 
because you can't see anyone anymore. Actually, no, let's choose you first because I want you to go Moving. get the metal. Got something over here. Oh, damn. Two more. Oh, and you're open as well. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, let's think. The other one's hidden. Mm. I go here, I'm still open. I might have to go here. <clears throat> I'm on the move. Which is annoying. It's very annoying. What about you? If I move Deirdre up. Let's try and spin the map a little. Let's see what we've got on this side. do have, you are, you can see one, it's the one that's got more, mm. run and gun, Going in for the kill. yeah let's do run and gun, so I can dash forward to there, Lovely stuff. I can actually see the other one. That's less chance. Only 35. But could do more. No, just remove that one. Good shot. That's just saved your life, pal. Okay. That's full cover. Give it a shot. Oh, lovely. Okay, so you you might be in a bit of bother here. I think you should move closer. Oh no, you're taking a shot. I'm under fire. Good job. Full cover really helped here. Okay. First of all, collect the mold. Got it. Good. Smoke screen would be nice, wouldn't it? What's it look like? Only 45%. Let's do smoke screen. Let's give us some cover. Pop and smoke. Take that overwatch. Okay, Deirdre. Let's move first, actually. I don't think you 
got good move there. You don't get him, that might be troublesome. Move him here. It would be better, but I won't be able to fire. And he would be open. Unless I do a rocket. Which would be ideal on the outside rather than inside. Let's do a rocket. No, it's not, is it? I think it'll be fine. Do it. Won't even know what hit us. Good stuff. They took out some of the ship, but it's fine, I'm sure. And now you need to move up. I suggest you just get decent cover if you can. But I don't think there is any. Why don't you just move here and hunt her down maybe? Got a follower, let's see. Saturn 810 or Saturn 810. Thank you very much for the follow. Currently playing XCOM, this is hardcore. Uh, first pop playthrough. And still quite early on. That should be good if I move up here. On the move. Oh, can he still see through the smoke? Oh no, that must have missed. Yeah, that must be why. The alien craft is still intact. Yeah, we've good. got some kind of energy field protecting parts of the ship. We'll have to look for an opening. Our readings can't be right. If they were, that's a being of almost pure energy. Oh, good. The readings coming from that creature are like nothing I've ever seen. You can study it when it's dead, Doctor. Let's take that thing down. No pressure then. Uh, I'll take you, Carl. You can. You can't move and fire the weapon in the same turn. In that case, you may as well knock it down as well then. Can you go into overwatch? No, I can't do that at all, so let's knock it down then. May as well. <laughs> Well, okay. I'd like to deal with this one first before I go and deal with the other guys. What are your shots like? Okay, let's go to someone else. You should be able to see him, surely. Do it. There you go. Now you're talking. Okay, now we need to move forward and in. Which is not going to be nice. I did just blow up that whole entrance there. I'm terrified if I go there, he's going to come running out. Might Understood. just have to be a thing. Oh, yeah. Overwatch. How nasty is that? He missed. To withstand an impact like that, at such a velocity, the materials used in that vessel's hull must be at least an order of magnitude beyond any element we know of. C 
sadly, all the cover around here is quite poor. I don't have enough smoke in there, do I? I do have another grenade though. It's not ideal. I'm tempted to put you on Overwatch if I can. Or can I not because you've had your turn? Probably you've had your turn. Where are you going, Deirdre? See him where were you? You see him from where? Only one. Oh, you've got half a chance. Give it a go. Good shot. Okay, how about you? You can't see. I got all, so. That's annoying the fact that you can't run a gun. I'm gonna hook it down. Unless would it be crazy to use pistol? That. Let's just see what happens if I use a pistol. One. Screw it, give it a go. Oh, good girl. That'll do, though. That will do. Yes, I really like you to pull something special here. Go here, it's half cover. I might be able to see him. Because you can't see him from the Do that. If you do that, you're going to leave yourself wide open. You probably are. And he's come back to you. Deirdre? Should be able to move here. On my way. And take out. Visual on the goods. Splendid. Oh, please, just one to hit. Deirdre, you lovely, lovely woman. Incredible. It seems to have vanished. Splendid. That was a good mission. And Jose has been promoted to Corporal. There we go. Let's promote him then. Oh, when we get a choice now, we can do a bullet swarm. Standard shots with a primary weapon no longer end the turn if taken as the first action. Oh, okay. That's quite nice then. So we can have a second shot. Um, damn good ground. Confirmed. Plus 10 aim and plus 10 defense against the enemies at lower elevation. 
in addition to the usual elevation bonuses. I actually think that one would be better. Yeah. Yeah. I think it'd be better than downward ground, personally. Good stuff. Okay. Uh, Bet your boy had one. Deirdre has got five. And Gail Platt's got two. Good, solid stuff. Ken's still sidelined. Let's continue on. Oh, we can do beam weapons, alien nav computer. Ooh. I've got four sectoid corpses, illyrium, alien alloys, weapon fragments, meld, flight computers, and power source. Tell you what. Welcome back, Commander. You're going to be busy. I wanted to speak to you about our current fleet of interceptors. It's crucial that we keep several of these aircraft on high alert. We'll need them to intercept any future alien contacts, and it's likely we'll suffer some losses in the process. I think it's also worth mentioning that even a full squadron of interceptors will do no good against our enemy if we don't know where they are. Additional satellite coverage will be required before we are able to detect alien craft elsewhere on the planet. Visit us in engineering should you wish to build additional satellites. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye. You know what I've just realised as well, because I had to follow, I could actually update in real time the count. Can't I? Yes, I can. If I was clever about it, of course. Which I'm not. Uh, da -da -da -da. We're on 13 now. Lovely. There we go. So yes, thank you very much, Saturn 810 or 810. Please let me know how you prefer. Maybe just Saturn. Um, here we go. XCOM, uh, XCOM database provides a running archive of gameplay information that can be accessed at any time via the pause menu. Except, you know what I'd actually like. If can we? If we go to engineering. We've still, still got still. some room to grow up here, but if we really want to expand our facilities, we're going to have to start excavating beneath the base. Unfortunately, the deeper we go, the more it's going to cost. Okay. You're still building that. Can you build? Okay, let's go back, because wasn't there something about the lab wasn't there each laboratory increases research speed by 20% adjacency bonus plus 10 to increase research speed for every adjacent laboratory what about power then plus tower for, two power for every adjacent power facility ok so let's go back what I might do Oh, choices, choices. Let's excavate. Let's, can I do something there as well then? Six power. Plus two power for every adjacent power facility. Don't want to stick that there. It's a bit of a weird one. Because I've got the satellite link. Our troops have to put their own survival first, but every alien we use explosives against is one less opportunity to recover new artifacts. Yeah, but he could have versus, and he needed a rocket to the face, so. How, how are we doing? Is everyone. 
Ken Barlow is still out for five days. Gravely wounded. It's amazing he survived that one, actually, isn't it? Uh... I still can't believe Dr. Vaughan expects our troops to try to bring one of those things back here in one piece. Much less alive. We could visit the Grey Market. Um, can we launch another one? We already have one above Germany. We've got one in China. Who else is a bit scary right now? Australia and it's all on that coast, isn't it? They're all a bit hairy. Okay. That's the hangar. Oh, view ship list. Can I actually buy? Yes, I can. I'd like to order an interceptor for you, please. Oh, I know. Do I have enough for that? If I order. No, I don't have enough. Okay, fine. I do need to get more ships, though. Uh, officer training school, that's what I need. Oh, I can't even do that anymore. And I need to get a sergeant for that, anyway. Okay, fine. No one's in the memorial yet, apart from the original ones. But let's face it, we didn't really have a choice in that matter. Okay. I think that we've done everything that we can do for now. Yeah, and you're you're gonna have that soon as well, which scares the life out of me. Because that means we're gonna have to bloody use it, aren't we? Mission control, let's scan. Yep, yeah, let's scan. Okay, cool, let's the arc thrower is complete, so assign a new one. We've completed our research into the arc thrower prototype and we believe this device is ready for final production in engineering. The mechanism functions on the basic premise of neurological disruption emitting a focused electromagnetic pulse capable of confusing and incapacitating targets within a limited range. As this is our first venture into the field of non-lethal weapons based on the alien physiology, it's safe to assume there may be unexpected results in the field. Oh, that's good to know. We're going to sneak up to someone we don't honestly know what's going to happen. It's very likely that some aliens will resist the disabling effects of the weapon. Excellent! In which case, it might be more effective to weaken the enemy first. <laughs> In other words, you might die. The arc thrower is also constrained by a current power supply technology which limits its effectiveness to two shots per deployment. Any captives retrieved from the field will have to be housed in an alien containment facility which we're building. I strongly advise we build that facility before attempting to capture live specimens. Lovely. And there's the arc thrower. Non-lethal sidearm designed to stun hostile targets, or at least we know that anyway. The mechanism seems to be most effective against weakened enemies. Use the build by in engineering to manufacture this item. Uh, oh, I didn't have com. That'd be nice. Uh, alien materials, weapon fragments, current body armor. Okay, so that gives us better body armor. That's quite nice. Meld combination. Uh, should let um. Okay. So that's just knowing what it does. Experimental warfare. If we were to level the playing field, we must adapt the alien technology for our own use. Okay. Beam weapons, oof, that would be nice. And sectoid autopsy, fast five days. Implants. Oh, okay, so we can get alien, alien implants there. So, really, we're looking at meld alien materials or sectoid. Mm, let's go with meld because. I think that could be quite useful if we've collected some already. I agree. That does seem to be the most pressing of our current research options. We'll begin immediately. I will notify you when a complete report is available. Let's go to engineering, see if we can uh, build buy items with $30. Oh, medkits. That's quite nice. 
across the satellites, of course. Okay, let's manufacture the arc thrower at least. Can't do two, I'll have to do one. Submit. But are they actually ready now anyway? Is it ready? Engineering. Build facilities. No, it's still it's still on anyway, so that's fine. We don't have to worry about that just yet. But soon I fear. Why doesn't... Yeah, I guess you can't build anything now, can you? If you're already doing stuff, okay, fine. Not ideal, but it is what it is. May as well scan. Sign a new construction then. You're still working on that. Oh, I can't because I don't have the funds. Let's, so we've still got plenty of power anyway, so. Back up. Should I go on the black market then? Or the grey market, sorry. Several members of the Council have expressed an interest in acquiring some of the artifacts we've recovered. However, we should be careful in choosing what items we release. The research team may not have discovered their true value yet. Commander, the artifact we're about to sell to the Council hasn't been examined by the research team. I'm sure Dr. Volland would be... disappointed if we put financial gains ahead of our own research and development. Fine. Be like that, let's go and do something there. Oh. Oh, is this the melt? So, what is it, Doctor? It's remarkable. The crystalline structure housed within the canister is actually a suspension containing billions of cybernetic nanomachines each made up of both organic and mechanical components. My team's analysis indicates these microscopic robots are capable of assembling mechanical structures with unprecedented efficiency. With further study and some specialized facilities, we may be able to engineer a sort of cyber suit that interfaces with the human body. My team is more interested in the possibility of physically altering the tissue itself, incorporating aspects of the alien's own genetic adaptations by using the nanites to fuse the foreign material. The commander will have to decide where the greatest advantage lies. Is there anything you agree on? Given the apparent purpose of the nanites, they allow combining organic materials with one another, or with machines. We have at least agreed to call them... Meld. Swap the them anyway. Oh, I get to get to choose a path, do I? Excavation complete. Well, recombination research project is complete. Assign the new research then. The amazing material's most salient feature is versatility. In early testing, we were able to devise several methods that allow for direct manipulation of the metal substance and its physiochemical properties. While searching our records for any references to a material with similar properties, I uncovered a number of redacted data stores created in the 1960s, but much of that information appears to have been lost. In any case, the advances the advances we've made should allow for a wide range of applications in the field of genetic modification and cybernetic enhancement, although we will need to build dedicated facilities to enable these potential research pathways. It is probable that the invaders are more familiar with the mill than we are, well, of course, and may already be filled in combat elements that take full advantage of its capabilities. Oh, wow, we can lo do loads of stuff. Cybernetics, gene genetic, genetics. 
Mech 1, Warden, Hyperactive Pupils, Depth of Perception, Adaptive Bone Marrow, and 40 additional meld. Super. Um, and Cybernetics Lab. Mechanized exoskeletes or cyber suits and augment soldiers to wear them. This facility counts as a workshop for adjacency benefits. Use the facilities option in engineering. Ah, okay. To construct this facility. And genetics lab. Uh, annex to the research lab to allow us to genetically modify our soldiers. This facility, this facility counts as a laboratory for adjacency benefits. Okay, so one's lab and one's not. New gene mod available. Adaptive bone marrow. Wound recovery time is reduced by 66%. Stats with rapid recovery. Soldier generates 2 HP per turn up to the HP max without armor. Oh. That's nice. That's nice. Depth of perception. Height dimension confers an additional five, plus 5 aim and plus 5% crit chance. Ooh. Hyperreactive pupils confers a plus 10 aim on any shot after a miss. That's nice. Oh, mechs. Kinetic strike module with a powerful arm upgrade for the mech, allowing the wood to pulverize adjacent cover and enemies, also boost mobility, or flamethrower allows the mech to lay waste to a cone-shaped area. Flame can spill outside the aiming area. See, that's the thing. It looks like we can do both. Uh, but it's if we modify humans, are we really being human still? Whereas mechs, you get into a mech suit. But mechs are clunky and they just cause damage. So if ever we need to recover stuff, then there's less to recover after a mech's been there. Tricky. What do you want to do next? Do the sectoid then. So We've start. made a number of interesting discoveries based on the autopsy results of the alien specimen you brought back. The research team is now referring to this particular variation as a sectoid, based on the unusual structure of its internal organs, which we believe to be the product of genetic manipulation. As we've seen in the field, this species also seems to harbor some sort of telepathic ability. Juicy. <clears throat> okay, that's fine. Let's build facilities. Oh, good, you do have one. Spare now. Alien containment. I can't build because I'm fully broke. Ugh. Okay, fine. Let's get back. You know what? I've got five. I can't. I can't do anything in a way, I can't even dig anything just yet. Fine, okay. <clears throat> barracks, can we do anything in barracks? No, we can't. Medals? Does anyone got medals? Oh, Defender's Medal. I can assign it to power and I can rename it. Ooh, what shall we rename it? What shall we name it? Um, <clears throat> Never panic as a result of allies getting wounded or killed. Medkits assorted mist to heal 2 HP more when used on the soldier. I quite like that. Do I want that one? Yeah, because I might. Yeah, people might die, and I don't want you to panic and mess everything up. <clears throat> Let's rename the medal. Defender's medal is rubbish. Uh, combination medal? No. Rover's return. Rover's Returns Medal. Yes. Rover's Return Medal. Rover's Return Medal. 
That sounds better. Uh, let's. Can we award it then? Who can we award it to? Can we award it to everyone? Cancel. No, who's had the most kills? It's Bet. Is it Bet that's had the most kills? Soldiers. No, you've not had the most kills at all. You've only had one. You've killed two. Five kills for Deirdre. And Jose's got six. I think Deirdre might need it, you know. Is it bad to give it to her then? Sorry, I'm giving it to Deirdre. Oh, I can't. I can't award another one yet. Good. I'm happy with that. Well deserved, Deirdre. Um, good, okay, I think we're ready to carry on then, aren't we? Okay. There we go, we're signing new construction if we can, we can't. We can't do bag at all right now, can we? Okay. Let's see if we can actually... expensive. Three, four, five, six. Let's sell six. And I'm not going to sell anything else just yet. Oh, okay. We'll monitor that contact, but I don't think it's related to the UFO activity. Wait, hold on. I just saw something there. Three. Let's take those off. Power source damage. This item has no research benefit and can be sold freely. Ah, researching the alien power source is crucial to our own advances, but this particular example is too far gone to be of any use. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Is that the same for you then? Oh, cool. Excellent. Okay. Flight com is good though, okay. Oh well, that's something then, yeah, complete that, do it. Good, fifty five. Nothing to minutes. report at the moment. Boards are clear. Um good, because we need to build stuff. I wanna build. Uh can I not build anything? Cybernetics lab. Or gen uh, genetics. See, that's the thing, I've got no workshops there, do I? So, if I put it there, is alien containment classed as anything at all? I'm terrified to move it and then put it back in. In the genetics. Do it. Don't know if that's right or wrong. It's done. Do it. I can't. I've only got five as well. Never mind. Never mind. Situation room. Is there anything going on in the situation room? No. Why is everything so quiet? Okay, let's carry on. Let's keep on scanning. We can have the results of the sectoids. 
good. We found no discernible, discernible genetic variants between any of the small humanoid aliens that have been examined thus far. They are perfect genetic copies, each and every one of them. The subject's brain is quite sizable with respect to its body and appears to have been augmented even further with cybernetic implants of some kind. Considering the fragile nature of this creature's physical form, it is safe to assume that these implants were intended to somehow improve the combat effectiveness of the species. Dr. Shen and the engineering team have already developed several theories as to how we might be able to adapt these implants for our own use. Additional technical information may be available in the field when viewing hostile targets in the unit analysis view. Dr. Valen's personal note, cloning genetic manipulation by medical implants, the implications of this technology and the alien's motives are not reassuring. Open targeting aim available for manufacture. Oh, okay, cool. Cool, okay. Boswell. Boswell. Uplink targeting aim. Activate this module during interception to provide an immediate temporary boost to our unit's accuracy. The model module will burn out after one use. Its technology is based on sectoid implants and allows to send a data pulse through our satellite network. Okay. You're still slow, though. Let's go for the alien materials, then. This technology has a number of potential applications. I'm sure the science team is eager to begin. I'll notify you as soon as we have something significant to report. Cool. So you're this side, aren't you? Tell him. Ugh. Let's... Oh, when it does take... Reset with corpses. That's the thing. Let's do one then. Let's sell one. It says it's not researched, but it has been. Yeah, let's do it anyway. Because then I can at least uh, build one of those things. Yeah. Okay, right, I see. Right. That's all we can do right now. We've got stuff going on. We've got zero credits. Let's keep on scanning. Oh, we've got alien abductions. Commander, we oh. picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. Boo. Okay, so we've got three. We've got Russia, Mexico, and South Africa. Russia is at one, but it's a moderate difficulty. Oh, we've got four signed. What? We get a new recruit, support sergeant. Oh, we got sergeant for that. Mm. We get four scientists for that one. Mexico and South Africa, which is easy for 200. Oh, money. And it's easy though, the other two are moderate. Oh, I kind of want the money. I want the money, and it's easy. Oh, I need the money. I'm sorry, everyone, but I need the money. Okay. Sniper, your support. What's your load out like? Guess what? You're getting your heart thrower. <laughs> Good luck, bet. Give the corporal. No, let's leave it there. Right, let's do the mission. Oh, thank you, boy. She's about to get up and close, up close and personal with some aliens. 
Strike one. Prepare for landing. Get his hope. We're heading oh. to South Africa for this one, and we need to get down there fast. Operation Glass. Alien continues. activity continues to surge within several major cities. Our response is crucial to minimizing the spread of panic. Any abduction in progress. Meld energy signature readings are positive. Site is clear of civilians. Collateral damage is not a concern. Good. Neutralize all hostile targets located in secure meld canisters. A unit performing a dash move has a defensive bonus against enemy reaction fire. Oh, cool. Okay. Did not know that. This might be the last mission for the evening. This has been fairly, fairly build heavy, hasn't it? This one. Strike one. This is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. Let's acclimatize a bit and see what we are up against. Sort of there. Let's sort of there as well. Where's Bet? Because you're the one. You're Bet, aren't you? You're the one. Just you're the one. <laughs> Gail's a sniper. I quite think. No, I'm not going to let you go in first. You can go in first, pal. Don't want to go by the cars. Not particularly. Move here first. I'm on the move. Oh, sorry. Just in case you see anything or anyone. Which you don't just yet. But they could be further down. If they're further down. If they're further down, they're further down. I don't like charging in. I don't like charging in at all. Leave you there for a second. Um, Deirdre, I think you need to go up top. Actually, now I'm going to send. You need to go up top because you are a sniper. Can you go up there? Yeah. Moving out. <clears throat> Central, I think. Deirdre, you are going to go around the side, I think. Do a dash around the side, please. You've still got a move left. Got it, it there. <laughs> oh, yeah, we've got aliens here. Which is perfect because you need to be weakened. Okay. What's my rockets like? Shots blocked. Uh, oh wow, okay. That's quite good rate of damage isn't it let's do that because as well he's this is his first action so he can do something. okay that's weakened don't say i down yeah let's one you down bet you can see one it's really not good damage. That's really not good damage. I'm tempted to move you first, actually, so that you can throw smoke. Oh, have 
you dash. Or move and fire. Move and fire. Oh, it's ballsy. It's ballsy. But 40% is quite good chance. Oh, you terrible, terrible shot. That's not good, though. Uh, Deirdre, you could come right through that door. Aye, aye, Commander. An action hero. That is Deirdre Rashid. Weatherfield 1. Oh, she could do a run and gun. Where would she go? She would go there. Is that a bit much? There's the meld. Can you actually see one there? You know what? That's actually not bad. Do it. Oh, my word. go here because I want you to scout if there's anyone else. Yep, there we go. Um, you can't fire now, can you? So let's hook you down. Terrified of you and Bet, so oh, no. You're gonna get hurt. You're there. I got lucky, I got very, very lucky right there. I'm under fire. I got very lucky. Um Bet. That's a bit of a shame. Because I can't. Move him here now. I'm not able to see him. Which is a bit of shame. You're back, aren't you? Oh, that's a good idea. Full cover, right there. I mean, it leaves you open, though. I'm on it, Commander. If they burst through that back door. Oh, oh, of course, yeah, because he's had his two shots. I kind of need you to move, actually. Let's go back to your movement. this. I'm going to have to. Out. I could actually kill him. That's fine. Right, that's good. This is good because on top. Can you actually see anyone here? Seventy-five percent. You are probably more open to the door, so let's try and take you out. They're both twenty-five percent critical. Yeah, they're both exactly the same. Headshot. Oh yeah, let's do it. Oh, beautiful. That's a nice shot. Right. The action saw that is Deirdre. She can't. Just need to spin the camera around. Right, you can't go through that door without doing a. a run and gun. Run him down. That's ballsy. Double kill. 
I like it. Do it. The action superstar that is Davey Rashid. Oh my god, 100%. Go. Deirdre Rashid. Yeah, that's good. That's very good. You're running away. Which is a bloody pain because... You're the one with bloody things on. Okay. On the move. Go around here. And let's get that meld. Got it. Is there something up top here? On the move. Send you there, but. The annoying thing is that Bet has got that stun gun. But she can't use it. She needs to be within that distance. Okay. Rodriguez. What about Bet using your. Moving Heading forward. Out. Still not in range, but I can use a smoke grenade because that. might make things different. Yeah, do that. Smokers. Deirdre, can you find that other meld? On my way. Rodriguez, you I said you're out Head here. there now. I said you're there, because I bet you are through there, isn't it? You may as well collect that meld. Yes! Oh damn, she got hit too. That's fine, because... Bet, you need to try and stun. Do it. Sleep tight. That's it. Now we can begin preparing for the interrogation. Splendid. That's Jog it. Up another one. No one killed, but she bet got damaged. Oh, Deirdre, Deirdre. Oh, Bet's wounded for five days. That's not good. But she, she did get the stun. Well done, Bet. Deirdre Rashid. Action superstar is only a bloody corporal. Look at you go. What have you got? Running gun. Uh, Sentinel allows two reaction shots during Overwatch instead of one. And save your medkits, restore four more health per use. More health per use. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go with Sentinel. Yes, please. Deirdre Rashid is a bloody superstar. How about that, then? No wonder Ken and Mike were fighting over her. I know it wasn't easy, but this could really be a turning point in our research. Not only can we interrogate the subject, but bringing an alien back alive provides us with a much better understanding of their physiology. Impressive work, indeed. Preparations in the containment facility are well underway. 
Okay, and now we've got a plasma pistol, which is nice. And we've got to interrogate the sectoid. Uh, plasma pistol. Sectoid corpse and a captive. Weapon fragment. And some meld as well. Oh, hello. Oh, yes, of course. The XCOM squad deployed to South Africa has successfully stopped the alien abduction in Johannesburg. South Africa is deeply grateful for your help and hope hopes that these rewards will be of use to the XCOM project. £200, yes it is, or 200 credits. But panic has increased across... <laughs> panic is in North America and panic has increased across Europe. There is panic at the disco. We will be in touch, Commander. As long as you don't actually touch me, that's fine. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I think... I'm going to call it there, just because that's quite nice to finish on, and a nice little cliffhanger, because next time it looks like we'll be interrogating an insectoid, or sectoid, sorry, it's not insectoid, it's just a sectoid, interrogate the sectoid, oh, you know what, the RNG on this is much kinder, I, I did play this briefly on the PS3, like, again, I only got, like, the first three missions, but either my play style, my stat, stats, my strats, my strategic ability was poor, um, and I actually got hammered, hammered. My load of team died and got wounded and weren't able to be used. Um, how is? Oh yeah, bet's going to be out for five days. What have we got then? I think we've got to genetics lab in two, and council reports in four. So, depending on what happens next, we might need to... How's Ken? How's Ken? Let's view the soldiers. Ken's active! So that's fine. We're fine for Ken. And he's still just Ken. He needs to earn his squaddy status. But Bet Gilroy was wounded for five days. But it's alright because Ken's back in the fold, ladies and gentlemen. Look at him there, ready to go. Big Ken Barlow. Righty ho. So that's what we're going to be doing next time. Next week, next Monday, hopefully. Um, to what about the rest of the week? Tomorrow, hopefully, I'll be back on if with a little bit of a Dead by Daylight. Actually, no, I can't promise that. I might be on tomorrow. I can't promise that. If I am on, it's going to be a short Dead by Daylight stream. Um, and hopefully, I'll be on on Thursday. I'm going to do my darndest to be on on Thursday because obviously we didn't get the pillars last week. So and I'd like to get back to the pillars of eternity because we're having a nice little bit of a wobble. It's a big game. Um, but yes, I hope you're enjoying XCOM. Thank you very much for the follow once again, Saturn. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please indeed feel free to do what Saturn has done. Follow me on Twitch or if you're watching on the YouTube VOD, uh, subscribe over there so you can keep up to date with everything that goes on. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, take care of yourselves. Have a great rest of Monday and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. But if not, have a great few days and I'll see you on Thursday, hopefully. Cool. There we go. Have a good one. Bye-bye.